Okay, in this tutorial we're going to add tattoos, properly bending and lighting them so they will look more realistic and we're going with stylization. So we'll begin with this image and in first parts we'll add tattoos and the second part we'll just add coloring, stylizations and some little bit blurring to this image. So let's go ahead and start work on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a tattoo um, just on the sides of arms. And to do this, we actually need to create a displacement mask. So when we add images, what's happening, we want this shirt base it on the shape of the body. And in this case, it's work very well because we have it far away will be darker and closer to us will be white. And what displacement does, it will kind of move and squeeze those dark areas. So we need to emphasize some of the dark ones and bring a little bit more highlights up. We'll go to do this by creating a new black and white layer. And with working with this black and white, you can actually create just a little bit more emphasized like on a side. As well, we can bring with the curves, we can go ahead and bring a luminosity type. We can bring more contrast to our image. Maybe just like this, so we have it a little bit harder and wider right in these areas. Okay, the other things also, what's happening, if we look closer, we do have some of the um, freckles and other ones that will affect as well. So we can go ahead and create new layer. We'll go just to smooth out some of these elements. So for these ones, we'll just go create healing brush. And we'll just touch up. I will still use them. I don't want to change all texture, but I want just in a place where we're going so they don't affect. Just do this in case for the second arm as well. Okay, right here just about where tattoos will go so we have a little bit cleaner area that also you'll notice we have it sometimes a little bit more edge so i'm going to command shift alt or control alt shift e to take all layers and creating new one and for this layer we'll go to filter blur and actually you know what let's go with uh, dust and scratches we'll go filter noise dust and scratches because it will detect this edge a little bit better for us and we'll take lower so it's overall it just smooth a little bit those lines you can see we have it just remove some of this unnecessary noise right now so when we're done with this we'll go ahead and save is as psd file so we'll go to file save as and this is will be our mask referral okay so i'm just going to override one i'll save right here Okay, at this point, all of this, we don't really need it, so we can remove them. Next portion is just add different type of the tattoos. So right here, example, I'll bring one. And this is PNG. If you have a different one, so you can find color will work as well. For this one, I just want black and white. So I'll bring side, rotate. I will just place it around here, kind of like almost in the shoulder tattoo. Press enter, it's now a smart object for us. And at this point, I want to actually convert, set the um, blend mode to multiply. You can see our white is disappeared, so it's look nicer. It's kind of blend a little bit better. And we'll go to filter, disturb, and we'll go to displace. So right here we have a horizontal scale and a vertical scale. And from experience, experimenting and other things I found out, you want to add about five uh, pixels per every 500 pixels of size of your image. So because this is large image, I'm going with a 15 by 15. You can go with higher or other things, but an average about maybe three, five pixels per each 500 pixels. We'll go stretch to fit, and we're also going to repeat edges. So let's go ahead click OK and you notice it's select our image so we'll go ahead select that one 
You can see if we come closer now. Very visible right here on the edge. You see how displacement bend a little bit and adjust this one. So we need to create mask and hide this top one. We'll go select the brush. For now let's go set 100%. And I want hard edges. So I just want paint kind of away this area. Okay, let's get closer. And you notice it's have it a little bit, maybe one pixel above. We can use it if you want it. You can also use a soft brush and set maybe to very, very soft and just slightly smooth this edge a little bit. So let's give it applied. Okay. Right here we have our image applied. Next, we actually want to blend this image to our um, build image below. And what's happening, our lighting is different. So we need to go ahead and we'll create the same as our background. So we'll duplicate this, bring up front. So let's go call it lighting for us. And we'll let's set for now to the screen mode. You can see how much it's brighter going. We don't need it, but all what I need is apply the specific lighting to our tattoo that's located just on top of this. Of course, we're going to modify this layer. So for this one, I want to go to create, convert to smart object. And we want to also apply a little bit of skin texture. So we can do this with separation frequency, or in this case, we'll do a little bit easy. So we go to filter, noise, we'll go to add noise. We'll use the monochromatic and just bring a little bit down. So again, this is just to duplicate a little bit of the skin noise right here. So we'll apply to that one. Okay, so let's go just a little reduce so we can see right here. You can see how it's applied. And next we'll go to create click again and create clipping mask. So in this case, right here's our tattoo and we have also can modify how much intensity we want it with the lighting. Okay, let's come a look closer. You can see it's look kind of nice. We still have it some freckles going through. If you don't want it, you can remove them. And you know what? Let's see. We want to bring a little bit darker so around that area. I think this way will look a little bit more kind of natural with distortions. Okay, let's go zoom out. You know, let's put just one more tattoo right here on the side. We'll just repeat the same things as we did before. Because we already have a displacement map, we don't need to use that. Uh, again, we'll just bring a different tattoo. Okay, again, let's get over, placed on the side. Maybe right around here, you know, I'll bring it a little bit closer maybe to the shoulder. So we can run here. Okay, same things, we'll go to switch multiply mode. Same things as before. We want to apply a uh, displacement. So let's go filter, distort, and we we'll go to displace. Same things as we used before, same settings. We'll select one again. Okay, right here, our displacement applied. We'll go select mask, hard edge, zero. So we can kind of erase, hide the area we don't need it. Of course, if you made a mask for your model, you can just select the mask and apply it. But because I just do on the straight, so we don't 
okay 10 percent and just softener a little bit this edge right there okay so similar things next if you remember what we need to do the our lighting things so we can also just take what we already have at lighting and we can just copy and bring this up and we can hold down alt you can just click and set create clipping mask so it will link or you can hold it alt and go ahead and click and you can see right here we apply this effect let's see if we can bring around this maybe coloring will look better okay so right here we have our image and we apply tattoos we can apply even more same um just go around and place more tattoos but i think those two is work very well as example thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure you check second part when we're going to add some styling effect to this image so in the previous part we add tattoos to our model so now i want to add a little bit stylization right here on the lights maybe creating bright light going from and just over color correction so we'll have it kind of more fun with this okay right here if you remember this is tattoo we applied the stylizations uh, let's begin with uh, creating light for this so for this we create new layer go lighting take our brush 100 percent white and we'll just increase in size right around here okay and just bring up and switch to the screen mode okay this is a little bit overlay so you can play a little bit with a, a soft light but soft light maybe give it too much but i think if we go with the screen go to filter blur just blow a little bit even more okay and we'll take it down so just add a little bit lighting to this element we can do similar things if we want to our yellow ones okay but for this one i'll press alt or option and just sampling right here the color so same things we'll just apply the, and this is same screen we'll go filter blur and just add a little bit of action blur to this as well all what it does is give it this little bit glow effect that will kind of put it after um, lens flare but i think this will cover right inside here we still have it a little bit more maybe adding so let's go to create a new layer put it behind okay it does um help when you spell okay same um we'll go to select white color actually maybe a little bit warmer white and i'm going right around here just so we have a somewhat lighting effect inside okay i think this will work good let's go next we'll add a little bit more dimension to the model for this one we'll just go create new layer fill up with this 50 percent gray dodge and burn on this one let's go switch to uh, soft light take our brush reset it to black and white soft round and we'll go to 10 opacity right here and i'm just adding additional shadows and 
a bit more highlights. Same with you on her face. A bit more highlights and you can use it X button just to switch very fast. If you hold right here, you can see it switch between black and white. So it's helpful to just create very fast to create shadows. And switch to the white so we can create highlights as well. Okay, let's go zoom out. Here's our very fast touch and burn. And this is local to the model. Um, if you want to bring grunge in, so we'll go to Control Shift Alt E, Command Shift Alt E, and this is uh, will be global dodge and burn for us. We'll go to image, adjustment, black and white. And I'm going to bring just a little bit of reds and yellow up. Okay. Next, we we'll go to image adjustment, shadow highlights. We'll bring the shadow and highlights up. We'll take radius, bring about maybe 11. Same right here. And we'll just bring this tone right there, just increase. Okay, because I'm going to use this soft light, it's been a darker than 50% will get darker. And a lighter will come up a little bit more. So right here, example, if we go soft light, you can see it's add some contrast to this. Um, I want to add a little bit more texture to the skin of green juice. So for this one, I'm going to actually sharpen unsharp mask and I used unsharp mask on actually this layer and you can see right here we add way more greenish on the skin this work very well if you want almost do metallic look kind of and I don't want necessarily this high so we'll just start slowly bringing in maybe around this area the next, actually, let's smooth some elements of this. We introduce texture, so it's right here. Next, I want to hide below this. We'll go create Command Shift Alt E, Control Shift Alt E, new layer. So we'll go smoothing on that one. Filter, noise, dust and scratches. And I'm just looking right there to increase smoothness. Okay, I think this will work good. It will create mask and the inverse mask on this and now I, I can paint in with the white color just a little bit smooth out some of those elements I need to be careful don't use on a tattoo too much but mostly just in this area where I see um, wrinkles that I don't want to display Just a little bit smooth right in her cheek a little bit. Just reduce some of this non-uniform noise. Okay, right here. Okay. And we'll bring back other noise. give it more a little bit polished kind of look to the other side okay so let's go next we'll create another layer and um, this is another will be dodge and burn but this one 50% gray color soft light but this one will be through all image so we'll have it so 10% we increase our brush so okay black okay here let's increase size of the brush and I just want vignetting a little bit on the image itself just to bring a little bit more attention to our model X reverse bring a little bit of highlights 
around her face. And a little bit darker around. Okay. So the her hair is look messy, which is good, but if we want to increase on her okay, let me fix up this one, slide it out. Okay. So if I want to fix it her hair, we'll need to go create new layer. Okay. And we'll go to filter stylization and we'll go to oil painting. So this is what I need. I need her hair, we'll set and let's see cleanness maybe 10 scale 1 brush 0 okay we're done with this you can see how her hair is applied I don't need to do everywhere so again we create mask inverse our mask take brush and get closer to the hair and kind of start bringing the hair in right here a little bit more just a little bit cleanness just clean the hair a little bit okay. if you used Vicom pad you can draw with Vicom pad I'm using mouse so add those clicking noises okay. X, let's hide a little bit right here. The elements, okay, we'll look on her hair before and after, just a little bit to reuse of noise on her hair. Okay, so let's go ahead and add Lin's floor to this. And you can do this by um, using already preset library. It's actually what I'm going to do. Or you can go inside the um, Photoshop and create from there. Okay, so I'll just go drag lens flare, put it right there, increase in size. Okay, we'll just place in round here and we'll just switch this to the screen mode. Apply this one. For the yellows, we can same, just create lens flare, screen mode. Just add a little bit effect. So right now let's go work with a little bit colors. And for this one, I'm going to use curves. We'll go switch this to the color mode. Go blue. We'll bring blue up. And just make a little bit more warmer. Look on this. Let's go to the red uh, channel selecting. We'll take cyan, bring shadows a little bit more on the cyan and slightly restoring our reds. I don't want reds over gone, so we'll fix it on the flats. But right here we have it a little bit coloring applied to our effect. Okay, next we'll go create another curve, and this time it will be luminosity. And we'll just take bottom, just flatten a little bit up here. And I don't like absolute white, so we'll take slightly down. We can look if we want to play a little bit with contrast. Just right here, a little bit applied. Again, this is point is up to your creativity, how you like to apply, what colors you want to use it. This is our coloring. This little bit play with the luminosity on this one. And let's add additional vignetting with a curve. We'll go to, um, we'll switch to soft light in a second. Or right now I'm going to go down, go select, select kind of mask fill this with a black so you can see we kind of mask out leave it just only this border and next we'll go to the proper for the mask feathering and bring feathering up right here and switch to the soft light so we just add a little bit extra vignetting kind of bringing and i want to take this vignetting and drop down below curve so our luminosity will affect on the top of the vignetting Okay, I think one last touch I want to do, because this is kind of details I want to focus a little bit more on the face. I'll go on the top, create, combine all layers, Control alt shift at e and we switch this one to um, 
Blend Explorer. We'll go to the Filters, Blur Gallery, and we'll select Iris Blur. So we'll go to her face, be sure it's right here, kind of selecting almost. The one thing I notice our lens flares start kind of blurring out, so we'll need to bring this back up because it's happened on the lens. One of my tattoos was visible, what we added, so we'll kind of just right here, maybe even a little bit lower. Okay, kind of positioning, maybe you know what, let's go with these directions. So we have a blur a little bit more right there. I think this will work well. So it will should blur some of these elements on the bottom. Okay. And this lens flare, I just want to bring a little bit up. This one. And let's bring yellow up as well. So I just add kind of more sharpness to them. Okay, so right here's our image we kind of was creating from original and let's um, have the adjustments and this is before and after. Just leave it stylizations, add tattoos and stylizations to our image. Thank you for watching this tutorial and be sure to check more on my YouTube channels or website.